Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to Green Carbon. Where today guys, we are taking a look at something that I've had for a couple months now. Something that I've been... When I got it, I was looking forward to it for so, so, so long. And I'm so happy to have it in my collection. I just want to go ahead and say this video was inspired to be done by SLC Games. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be doing this video. I wouldn't be doing a review. And yeah, huge, huge shout out to him. I'll pop up a picture of his channel right here. So definitely go subscribe to his channel and there'll be a link to it in the description below. So go sub to that channel and yeah, go check out his videos, go check out his reviews. And yeah, he's just, just, just go check out his channel. But today guys, if you have seen the thumbnail and the title of this video, we are taking a look at the United States Commemorative Championship from WWEshop.com. So guys, here we have the United States commemorative belt in its little packaging that it comes in. And I just want to say sorry about the packaging or the case being a bit dirty. I've had this for a couple months now and it's literally just been in a corner for my other WWE stuff. But I've been really, really careful with the belt. It looked, the belt was in amazing condition. It's just this is a bit dirty and needs a clean. But other than that, it's fine. Uh, there's not much going on with this case it just says united states commemorative and the wwe logo not much but yeah i just want to say this video sorry about the uh like the camera in it if it's a bit shaky because i'm gonna have to be holding the tripod and yeah because it doesn't fit in the frame properly so i hope you don't mind and let's get it out of its case so guys here we have the belt and as you can see it's still in its case but I just wanted to show you guys how to get it out. You probably know, but you just have to flip it around, go to this zip here, and you just go. And then, yeah, there's the back of the belt, the like stamp thing from WWE, the uh, big stamp thing. If you want to read that and pause it, you can. But I don't want to, so all you do is you get this, you take that side out, you take that side out, and yeah. So I'll show you it when it's out. So guys, here we have the United States Championship. And once again, sorry about the shaky camera, but yeah, you're just gonna have to put up with it. But yeah, this looks amazing. You can see the like how reflective it is along here. You can just see how nice it looks, how official it looks as well it looks amazing the one thing i do know about this belt is that i'm pretty sure where it has the wwe championship stamps on it there um i'm pretty sure on the official one it is um it says united states or, uh, or it says the usa i, I don't know it's, it doesn't say that there i'm pretty sure it says united states there so that's the one thing that isn't accurate on this belt but other than that, it is really, really accurate. So yeah, as you can see, really reflective, looks really, really good. Uh, come along to the side and you have these nice like, side plates here, which look really, really nice. And nice red, white and blue and gold detail on there, which looks really good. And then you come along to the other side, or this is on the other side as well. But you have that plate there, which looks really, really good as well. Which has a Statue of Liberty on it and some stars. And that looks cool. And I think it's the same on the other one. Yep, same there. Uh, so that's pretty much the same. But then we come to the main front plate, which is my favourite plate of, of any belt ever made by WWE. This is my all-time favourite belt. And I love it so much. And... As you can see, you have the big WWE logo there. You have World Wrestling Entertainment there. You have these these stars with a blue background. You have United States Champion. And there you have the nameplate. And something cool about this commemorative is the nameplate is actually swappable. So what you want to do is, you don't want to do it here. These screws aren't real screws. They are just like fake screws that just look good like on the official because on the official one that they use in wwe um they unscrew these 
and then they put a name for it and then scroll back in but in later basically later in the review i'll be in the review i'll be showing you how to put the name plates on i don't have any yet but i'll show you how to put them on so back on to the detail on this it has this really nice gold outline going around the championship with these black spikes at the top which is really cool and then a nice red borderline there which looks really really cool and then you have like the the flag like you have parts of the flag down here i'm pretty sure like because of the curvy detail and yeah that's really really nice so you got red and white and once again the gold outline is there along with the stars it's got a gold outline around that as well but yeah it has really really nice detail on it so guys here we have the back of the united states championship belt and as you can see you have all these silver screws going around it you have this big stamp here which has been sewn on like i showed you before and that metallic thing uh and like i said to change the the nameplate round all you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get this 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 screw and this screw here and you're going to want to unscrew them and then that will take off the nameplate at the front you put a new nameplate on there and then you'll put these two screws back in after and you'll have your new nameplate on i think i'm going to get a Rey mysterio one because i loved it when he was the united states champion but yeah so you've got these nice silver screws around here for the front plate and it's got a tiny curve a bit it's only a bit but you definitely can feel it where the curve is which is good so it's not just perfectly flat so i'm happy about that uh coming along to the side plates i think this is only on commemoratives you can't take off the side plates like you can the front plate so that's not bad because then they won't um to come loose they probably wouldn't anyway but i don't mind if they if you can't remove them or you can so yeah same on that side and then you come along to these let me get them in there we go the snaps where you do up the belt and yes in silver don't know if it's like that on the if on like the non-commemorative ones but i don't know so yeah you have this again on my desk uh but yeah so you have that and yeah that's pretty much it for the back of this belt so here we have the belt in hand guys and it looks really really official it feels like you're a real champion it feels like you've won the belt when you hold it it feels really really official in my opinion and i really 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 like this belt it is my all-time favorite belt from wwe it looks really good when you have it on your shoulder you feel like a champion it fits really well around your waist and overall it's just an amazing belt on my one the flexibility of the strap is really really good it's really nice and loose and easy to move about which i really like because that's like the ones on tv and yeah as you can see a quick comparison you have this one here and if you can see you do actually have my my world heavyweight one there in the background which if you want to see a review on i will do a, a review on it if you don't then i won't be bothered but yeah i just thought i would show you guys my united states championship replica because it means a lot to me how much how how long i waited to get a, a proper proper replica of this belt because i've been asking for one for years and i finally got one this christmas so i just wanted to share it with you guys and show how good it really is and yeah i'm definitely saying you should 100 percent get one if you want to get a replica belt i highly recommend the united states championship because it just looks really really good so once again huge huge shout out to src sammy for inspiring me to do this video and for giving me some advice on how to do it so definitely big shout out to him go check out his channel while we're here go check out dalek yt because why the hell not another one of my friends so yeah this is me saying definitely get this belt and i will see you all in the next video goodbye Tell me pretty lies, look me in the face Tell me that you love me, even if it's fake